putting production figures of the two 550 ton excavators on site against each other provides for an interesting comparison. The EX5500 performed to NRW's planned dig rates. However, according to Sean Lucas, the EX5600 excavator matched with the EH4000 trucks provided about 30% in end yield on top of what the 5500 does. Sean Lucas attributes the increase in performance to the significant increase in the horsepower, which translates into productivity of the EX5600. The EX5600 is powered by two Cummins diesels, delivering a total of 2,238 kilowatts of usable power, up from the 2014 kilowatts of the EX5500. The improvements are appreciated and acknowledged at NRW. What I tell you, done with the 5600, um, as opposed to what the 5500 was, is incredible. They really listened to what the operations need, and they've made those changes. The other half of the Atashi equipment equation at Middlemount, the AC drive dump trucks, are also playing their part, especially the 220 tonne payload EH4000s. But the quick turnaround is having some unexpected impacts, whereas in the past, the truck operators could look forward to a bit of downtime during the loading cycle, but as Sean Lucas tells it, Reading of it now, it's, um, they get their book open, find their line, and it's bang bang, and they're off again. Three buckets and a 220 tonne Hitachi 4000s are. Uh, it's gone.